here with Jacob's Tutoring Service. Um, I'm going to go over today, I'm going to start a video series going through the Virginia um, SOL for Algebra 1. So what I've got here is um, the 2009 Mathematics Standard of Learning, so the SOL. Um, this one was released um, in spring of 2015. So we're going to do a series of videos. The first video will go through questions 1 through 5. Um, and then as, uh, you know, we'll, I'll just continue going through them in, um, you know, just a few at a time just to make sure the videos do not get too long. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, the first question here. And let's zoom it in just so we can make sure you guys are seeing it. Which expression represents four less than half a number? So what I want to do here is go through and identify some words here. So we know less is going to be subtraction, right? And then half, we see here we're going to go ahead and abbreviate that half. A number, half a number. When it, this is half a number, so we're going to be writing these together. So like one half in. <coughs> and it says four less than half a number. So we're going to do one half in four less. So it's going to be subtraction minus four. And let's see. So it's not this one. It has to be B here. So that was number one. Number two, which of the following binomials is a factor of x squared minus x minus 6? So factoring. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. All right. So remember when you're factoring, you want to have two numbers that multiply it to 6 but add to a negative 1. Okay? Because that's a negative so my first thoughts are instantly three and two. Three times two is six, but negative three plus a negative plus a positive two gives me a negative um, one. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and write it out. Minus three and x plus two. Here for me, I would probably go ahead and um, check this just to make sure it works. You can use several different methods. Um, there's the FOIL method, right? And then I use something called the box method where I draw a box and I write X minus three. So here I'm checking. And then X plus two. This is called the box method, uh, or I call it the box method. I'm not sure if it actually has a name. I love it. Um, so here's my first factor, x minus 3, and then x plus 2. Notice they put the plus 2 down here and the minus 3 up here. We're going to multiply squared. So a negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 3 is negative 6. Okay. From here, you're going to add what's in the box. So this one doesn't have another term, so it's because we're going to bring it straight down. We're going to add these together. So a negative 3x plus 2x is a negative x minus 6. These are the same, so our answer checks. So now we go back up to our answer choices. Negative 1 is not an option. Negative 6. So we have a negative three and a positive two. So positive two is not there, so it has to be C. I'm gonna do a whole video series on factoring, different ways to factor, um, and I will link it below. All right, this one says, identify each expression that is, um, that is in its simplest radical form. What I'd probably do is just take and write each one of them down and see if I can simplify it anymore. Um, a lot of times you really don't have to do that. You can kind of eyeball it, but I'm just going to start with this first one here. He 
here 50 we can probably break down more right because I can say 10 and 5 and then 2 and 5 right the 5 would come out so 5 X and then there's already the 5x and then 2 is left inside y is still inside so 2y so identify each expression that's in its simplest radical form that is not in its simplest form because that is the answer for that one right now for this one we're gonna look under this one under that radical is just X we can't do anything more with that if it was X squared then we could do something else with it but because it's like this, that's in its simplest form. All right, so that's an answer. This one here, same scenario. Um, don't pay attention to anything on the outside. Completely ignore that. You're going to look just here. All right. We cannot simplify 2 down any more than it already is. Um, X and Y are also simplified as far as they can go. So this is also simplified completely. And again, let's look here at 12. So... So I don't think we could do any, let's take a look at the 12. You can use any factors of 12. Um, let's take a look though. Let's just use six times two. And that's three and two, yep. So we can take out that two. We have three X's there. We have a pair of them. So that is gonna be, um, that can come out. And then look at all these Y's. So I like to write all of them down and then circle the group of a group of two. So there's one, two. So your answer here, that's gonna stay in. I like to box what's gonna stay in because it helps me stay organized. Um, so two comes out and X comes out and two Y's. Square root and then three's left inside and we have an X left inside. So there's that one. So these two are the only ones that are in their simplest form because we can reduce these other ones. All right. As we're going through these, um, I'm going to briefly explain, you know, or kind of give you an idea. You'll have to look for other videos if you want long, in-depth um, explanations for why answers. So I'll do other videos for simplification. Let's take a look here at this one. All right, which expression is equivalent to 1 6, and then you have the parentheses here, 30x minus 24y minus 1 8, and then you have parentheses, 32x minus 16y. All right, if this were me solving this, and it is as of right now, um, I would break this up first and look at each of these individual. So let's look at just this part of the problem first. Remember, we have to when you have a number in the front like this, you have to distribute it. So let's rewrite it. 1 sixth 30x minus 24y. Let's distribute to each of these. All right, and then I think you're going to have a calculator on this. So I would not waste any time doing any head math. Um, in your calculator, if you put this this in, that is the same as one sixth. One sixth times thirty is five. So we have five x. Okay, and then we do one six times. Notice here that's a, a subtraction sign. So I'm going to call that times negative twenty four. And that gives me minus 4. And then I'm just going to bring the y down. All right. So that's what that means. Let's do the other part of it. Negative 1 eighth. Notice I wrote this as a negative. Okay. And then 32x minus 16y. You're going to distribute like this. So again, negative 1 eighth times 32. That's a negative 4x. 
and then negative 1 8 times a negative 16. Notice that's positive, so I'm going to write positive 2y. Now this is what we have, 5x minus 4y minus 4x plus 2y. That's what we have. Now we're just going to add like terms. This guy and this one go together. And then this one goes with this one, right? So we have 5x minus 4x leaves us with an x. And then a negative 4y and a positive 2 is a minus 2y. And here it is. There's our answer. B for that one. And that is number 4. And lastly, number five for this series, so this is going to be number five. What, I'm sorry, which is equivalent to three, or the cube root of 48? So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this. All right, when there's nothing written as you, like we were looking at earlier, if we were, um, let's go up here. If we were doing, um, when we did this one, let me go back and pull the other sheet. When we were doing this one, there was not a number written up here. So when there's not a number, you assume you're looking for pairs of two, <clears throat> right? When there's a number written, like here, we're going to be looking for pairs of three because there's a three written here. If this was a four, we'd look for pair, we would look for sets of four. And if it was a five, we'd look for sets of five. So here we have to do 48. So I'm thinking, what are some factors of 48? And I instantly think eight and six. Okay, eight and six, and then... We have 4 and 2, and then 2 and 2, right? And then this one's going to be 2 and 3. So we're looking for a set of 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then these two have to stay inside because there's not two more to go with them. So we bring a 2 out. 2 3 radical, and then 2 times 3 is 6. So that's what we're looking for. It should be A. Alright, well thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you want to continue um, seeing these types of videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.